Good morning, everyone. It's a pretty cloudy, rainy day. It's kind of cold, but it's to be expected this time of year. Apart from climate control, one of our biggest challenges since we moved off grid was having reliable power. Especially this time of year when the sun is lower and it's not out as much. It's usually pretty much overcast all winter long. So since there's not as much sunlight to capture during the day, we've talked about increasing the storage capacity that we have. So when the sun is out, we're able to collect more, store more to kind of carry us through as many days as possible. First and foremost, a giant shout out and thank you to Blue Eddy for sending me their AC300 and B300K home backup battery. It's going to be really fun to see if the system can keep up with the power demands of our off-grid life. We're going to throw everything we got at it from our lights, fridge, power tools. We're never wasteful when it comes to using the power and the batteries we have. So this is going to be interesting to splurge over the next 24 hours and just see how far we can run it down, how long it lasts, and if it's better than the current system that we have. And just like that, we have power. I see that it's not fully charged and to give this an honest review and see what it can truly handle, we're gonna go ahead and plug it in, get it up to 100%. One thing that's always annoyed my wife is how much I love the packaging that quality items comes in, like the boxes or even the bag that's holding the cords. It feels like velvet. I know most of you probably don't care about that. The other unit that I have, I had to actually purchase my connector to connect it to my solar panels, which was kind of annoying. Blue Eddy seems to give you everything you need. We've got DC, we've got AC, and we've got DC solar. Well, this kind of sucks. It was supposed to be sunny today, but as you can see, it's complete overcast. I might have to push this test to tomorrow because I really want to charge this unit up to 100% before we start testing it. While we wait for a sunnier day tomorrow, I'm going to read through all this material that they sent, learn more about the unit, and how to work it, because this thing is thick. <laughs> but I'd rather have more information than not enough. I couldn't resist from using it last night. We drained it all the way down to 13%, which is fine because today we got a lot more sun and I figured the best first test should be how long it takes to charge with my solar panels. Okay, so it's been two days and it's still a cloudy sky up there, so we haven't gotten all that much charge, but we got it up to 83%, which is enough to start the test. Even though it's cloudy outside, we're still pulling in about 200 watts. This thing's really cool. It's touch screen, you can click on everything and get some detailed information about the voltage input, the AC power output, the frequency, all kinds of things. A lot more than my current system can do. All right, here's the part I've been waiting for. Let's start plugging things in and get this test started. First thing we did was get the fridge plugged in and make some coffee and get my day started. When Blue Eddie first reached out to me, they had a list of different items they want used for the extreme test of the system. Computers wasn't one of them. Most don't really pull that much power, especially a small laptop. This computer is a beast, and since we've moved off-grid, I've had limited use of our main editing computer just because it pulled too much power for our current system. Even though my computer's a power hog and I was using it for about two hours, it only drained the Blue Eddy by about 2%, which is kind of insane to me. Our other battery would have been down at least 15. Now, since moving off-grid, one of the main challenges we've been trying to tackle is food preservation. I plugged in our little 12-volt refrigerator over there, but it wasn't pulling any watts, so I got something special just for this test. Ooh. Did I just do that? <laughs> no. no.
That's the corner. Not only does this have six AC outlets, but it also has this 30 amp outlet, as well as these useful USB outlets and these two DC ports. working this is the first time we've had a fridge in years we've had that little dc powered cooler style fridge for about a year and a half and it's done right by us it is nice to have a full-size fridge and freezer again though so it started off at about 1100 watts right now it's only pulling 100 watts i thought this was going to be a little bit more of an extreme appliance to run off this but it's not even touching the power capabilities of this blue eddy which is awesome let's see what my wife thinks i wonder how many more things we can plug into that blue eddy let's find out <laughs> All right, I know this next test is going to really put some strain on the unit, so let's see how it does. Seeing how today is Thanksgiving, the day won't be complete without some buttered noodles. <laughs> We're going to try and cook it on our induction stovetop, which I know pulls a lot of power, so we'll see how the unit stands up to it. Oh yeah, now we're pulling some watts. We're at 1400 being pulled at the moment. There's the test we were looking for. It's already starting to steam. It's crazy. Life's getting a lot better with better power capabilities. In all honesty, I don't think I'm gonna be able to run this battery down. Our lives don't require all that much power and as I keep adding things, it's still not even touching it. So it's actually quite reassuring. I think we're gonna be able to add a whole lot more appliances and be fine. And the water is definitely boiling. <laughs> All right, that's enough. It is Thanksgiving, and I'm just joking. I'm not going to have buttered noodles. Jess is going to be bringing me a plate home. <laughs> but it was a cool test, and I'm glad that this works with this machine because this is going to get a whole lot of use and save us on propane, especially in the summertime when we can't use the wood stove to cook on. <laughs> You can see the percentage drop down considerably in that test. But the way we use our solar is in conjunction with the panels and the daylight. And that between 70 and 100 watts to power the fridge is going to have no problem keeping that running all night long until the sun comes up. I wish it was a sunny day because I would love to test this thing while power is coming in from my solar panels as it's going out with all these tests that I'm doing to see how far I actually drain the battery with what I normally use in a day. So now I'm going to see how it does with my table saw. When I tried running the table saw on my other solar unit, it would bog down, it would trip, and it wouldn't work. So I'm hoping this does a little bit better, but we'll see. <laughs> So that worked pretty well. This wood is wet at the same time and it didn't bog it down at all. It powered right through. Freaking awesome. I love it. And it barely took any power to run that table saw. Very cool.
so we're still doing good on power on the Blue Eddy. We have a bunch of things plugged in. We're going to see how it does through the night. We'll see you in the morning. It's another dreary day. Yay. <laughs> it's a cold morning today. You can feel that it's going to get down to 19 tonight, which <laughs> not looking forward to. We're not going to get any sun today either. It sucks. That's why in wintertime you really have to conserve your power because you don't know when you're going to get a recharge sometimes, especially when you pretty much solely rely on solar. We have a backup generator, but we rarely use it. Jeez, this thing's still going. It's got 19% still after running all night. I can still hear the fridge going. It's going to do what it needs to do for us. I'm pretty happy about it. Nice and cold in there. Heck yeah. Due to the overcast and my inability to keep the Blue Eddy charged, I didn't get to do a lot of the tests that I wanted to do. So this isn't the only video that I'm going to be making about this. I'm going to be giving updates on how it's working when I have solar power coming into it as I'm using it. Because I have a feeling it's going to be a lot more efficient for me. Because as of right now, it was just a battery that I was kind of putting through the ringer without no power recharging it. <laughs> and it still lasted quite a while in my opinion. Man, it's cold. Well, I hope this video was informative. I left a link for both Amazon and the Blue Eddy website along with my code in the description of this video so you can get a little 5% discount. Again, I will be doing some more updated videos later on when we have actual sun and let you know how it's functioning then. But all in all, it's been an amazing unit. I'm super happy with it. Thank you again, Blue Eddy, for trusting it with me and I'm looking forward to many years of using it. Well, until next time, my friends, this is Off Grid and Growing. Keep growing, everybody.